Mr. Tenor from Fanny Martial Arts, and I'm going to go over Tony Kick Ask Which Tony Kick, which comes up in the syllabus um, a, a couple of times. And it's a, it's a good follow on from distancing, know your distance. <laughs> Alright, so um, the Tony Kick Ask Which Tony Kick, you throw the Tony Kick from the back leg, uh, make sure you pivot um, on the ball of the foot, the knee comes up straight away as you're pivoting, flip the leg, and then you're going to bring it back down behind you, okay? To sit up for the next kick. Now, this is just for a training exercise. This isn't necessarily what you're going to do in, in a sparring situation. Because at the moment I throw that and the brink brought it back, I've just wasted some time. Unless I throw the kick, boom, throw a punch, and then I go do something else, then, then I've filled that time with, with something. Anyway, so do, you do your turn and kick, bring it back, now you're going to do the half switch, and then you're going to do another turn and kick, and then place it back down again. Now, the the half switch, this is me doing a full switch, uh, I'll do it facing you. This, my left leg is forward, my right foot is back, might be different because you're watching it. There's a switch, now it's the other way around. Okay, so that's a normal full switch. Now, half switch is where um, I still keep the left leg, but my back leg comes forward and my front leg goes backwards. <laughs> that sounds a bit more complicated than it, than it is. So from this position, I bring my I still keep left leg, so then my left shoulder is in front. Okay, I'll bring my lead leg back and my back leg forwards, so the back heel fall, and that is my half switch. Okay, so I've brought in, shoot, and I've crossed my legs. Now that way, I'm in the same space. I haven't moved forwards, and then I haven't moved backwards. So when I'm sparring someone, they don't still see me in that same position. So say if this is that person that I'm sparring, I've got my guard up and I do my um, back leg turning kick, bring it back, and then I do my lead leg turning kick without the half switch, I can't reach them. Okay? Give me a phone. Okay, still can't reach them. But if I do my half switch, okay, or I try and do that, move and pause, okay, now I can get the get the kick because my back leg has come forwards. They'll see me in the same space, and as long as I, if, if they haven't seen a half switch before, or you distract, and I'll come on to that in a minute, um, then you should be able to get the half switch to work, because they they know your distancing, and you know your distancing, so this is how it works. So, guard up, back leg, turn and kick, bring it back behind, so now, knee leg where it is, okay, I've reached, so I do the half switch, now my back leg has come from here to here, my hip can now move to here, and now I can reach the target, okay, with my turning kick. Turning kick, half switch, turning kick. Now, in sparring, especially in our school, if you're sparring other people, they know the turning kick, half switch, turning kick. So the moment you do this, okay, they're, they're thinking, oh, wait a minute, I'm kicking me up the lead leg, or they can reach me now. So, from, from this position, if uh, you're moving around, throwing shots, and I throw a shot, and I do the half switch when I throw that punch. Okay, they'll be concentrating on this and not this after I've done the half switch. Okay, so turn and kick, half switch, turn and kick. Now that is the drill, but you don't have to throw this one first before you throw this. You can get the half switch to work at any point. Get across in front kick, half switch, front kick. Yeah. Easy. Okay, so get practicing on your turning kick, half switch, turning kick. Those of you who have done it before, still practice turning kick, half switch, turning kick because it's a, it can be a great skill to use and it's great fun to put it off and you catch people that didn't think they could get you. Okay, see you in the next video.